is looking like it is finished. Put it on here, take her off, come back over here in the light. This looks like this one might be the winner. Let's get a lower here. My workspace is definitely bad. That is still probably a millimeter too thick. That is a shame. Where's my thing here? It's about 34. And a real black bag. 33. again here is the finally after four tries a finished part it's actually finished so it fits it's a little snipe it's a little snug dimensionally it does fit the 20, 30, 34. I'm sorry. Yeah, it, it, it's a little bit off still. Just a t like a half a millimeter. I'll go back in if I do end up making enough, making more of these here. I will go back in and. Uh, probably shrink it down to a half a millimeter um, it was too long right here as well I sanded it down a little bit but um, see that right there in the light it's still a, a bit of an overhang but all in all it does fit that's the right way. Same thing. There'll be a little extras inside there, a little bit of a stringiness because of the material we're using to print on. There you go. This should stay on there. Um, it may or may not. There we go. I am bad. So it's here. I done it. Took a long time, longer than it should have taken, because when I got the G code, it was not nowhere near um, the right dimensions for this. So I'm drop out. I'm thinking it, uh, it's still just a little snug. I might drop it a half. A millimeter on each side. So it's a 20. It's like a tight 20. Uh, 22, 22 and a half millimeters. That's the same. 22 to 22 and a half. Now that's like a quarter, like a, an eighth of a millimeter. It's even worse. That's 22. No. I think the width is just fine, to be honest. The length here is 
on this one is about 34. This one is 33. I was hoping it would drop down. The reason why it's so damn complicated is because when it prints, it's printing, it's printing up and down. Like this. And it's printing like this. And when you're on their final dimensions, which I'm not proficient in CAD programs just yet. Uh, I'm still working on the Cura for the 3D printer itself. It prints like this. Now I'm not sure if you can get the light, right lighting here for to see this, but it, it's it's kind of a slant because it's printing it up, so I don't have to print it on the side, so there's no support material. If you print it on the side, it would be flat on this side. The dimensions would come out weird and it would just be totally uneasable. And you could probably put it on the back, but the same problem. It would stick, it, it would just be too much of a bed. Uh, when you're doing this, you have to think of actual, um, you think of it in a printer language. So, doing it like this, no supports. Uh, it'll measure from here to here instead of just here and even here is not your longest part you still have down here the little lip in the original black magazine there's a little lip it's not it's a little type of like a little bit of a ramp on this one I'm not sure if that's this is my gen 5 that's new on gen 5s no Gen 5, that's just the orange tip, that's all I think that's new on here, and there's a little bit of the, on these new ones, there's a little bit of a, uh, longer, it's like a sled type curve, so, I haven't done even done any review on these new Glock mags just yet, so must tell you I did, I've only got a new one here. I got a new Glock mag. I haven't even shot that one yet. That's not even that's long over here. Now it does fit. Oh, I dropped it. I still gotta clean my damn working space here. I have so many projects on this table. It's ridiculous. Especially this project right here. This one's a big one. Why? 3D printed Glock Gen 3, Glock 17 lower. I this is way more rigid than the resin the resin cast I did earlier. Uh, this one messed up. This is one of the first ones I ever did. The printer bed kind of uh, had some problems. I don't know what, what, or what, why, or what, or even a loud noise will make this stuff jump. So uh, there's, it's shifted the entire. Stuff. I don't think you can pick it up on the camera here. It's shifted the. Whole thing, so it it won't. This won't fit properly. No magazine will fit properly. Oh yeah, no, it's still not gonna fit proper. But it's strong. I mean, I uh, bent some off this morning, trying to test it out. I think I'm gonna do a test on the rest of this guy. Uh, there's no way this is usable because this is just um, inside here. Is, it's terribly rough. Um, this would take require way too much sanding. I used way too much support material when doing this one. Also, uh, um, this one uh, does not have the cutouts for the metal inserts for the 
upper. And this one, these are plastic, so I, that, that's probably. And I'm gonna have to, re, to either redo the G code or find one that does not have these plastic. I didn't realize it when I burned it, or when I was even looking at it. These plastic parts here, and you probably could just mail those out, but why? When you can just print it. And it, it feels, it's nice. I mean, it does not warp as nowhere near as much as my 19 or my 21. I'm sorry, 20. Um, this, because of the shift here, it's not going to work. But it will be cool to destroy later. Um, as far as the magazine, I don't know if this is going to be usable. Um, I will probably get to a safety safety area, probably outside, not inside. I'll uh, load the magazine back up, push it back up, and this is a Glock 19 spring and a Glock 17 mag. Yeah, that's not going to work. Um, but I'll get a Glock 19 or a Glock 17 spring and do that with it. All right, you know I could probably use this. Just switch out this one. That's a little longer. I could do that. I will uh, load it up, rock a few through the firearm, and see uh, how it works. Um, because it's, it's pretty tough. Uh, with these failed ones here, it's the same material, same thing, everything, except for the, uh, the length here is about a millimeter too much. So, these can be perfect for blowing up later, um, or not blowing up, but to torture test, I mean, they're pretty sturdy. I mean, this is just, uh, regular... Pet G, I mean, this is nothing, this is food grade type shit, it's pretty strong, now I don't think it will survive the, tr the truck, running over with the truck, this would, more than likely, uh, depending on how well that stands up, but either with a magazine in it or not, or what those dudes, they uh, cheat, <laughs> they put a board on it, in between the two, I don't know, I'll get to it later, I'll, uh, I'll do something. I might even run over to my, my doom buggy instead of my truck. Just to be cool. Um, yeah. So this is the finished truck. I, you know, I can sand it down a little more. Probably. Sand it down. And uh, there's no getting away, getting getting by this glossy black. It's just the material itself. Now I can print in the carbon fiber, and that'll come out matte black. Uh, and it might, it'll be stronger than this, which um, I'm out of carbon fiber. I've done so much on that right now, and. It'll be cool. I, still, I, I just wish I had a proper G code. It wouldn't have been so much, so long to do this damn thing. I even tried to do a longer one. And uh, when I tried to do the longer one, it didn't just, it distorted the entire thing and not, uh, and of course, the magazine catch part is way longer. I shouldn't have done that, but it did anyway. So. And this is just way too big, but it'd be cool to test out, to, to crush. I'm pretty sure it'll break if I do this. I don't know. Feed ramps? Nope. I thought I dropped one of these earlier and it broke. It must have been not the one. It must have been something else I dropped. Now, I'll do a torture test with these. I have a few of them already. I'll crush. Um, but obviously, if you can hand crush these, there's no point to. Oh, yep. Yeah, see, it'll it fail a little bit. 
so I haven't baked these either. If you bake them for a few hours, the uh, layer cohesion is a hell of a lot stronger. It shrinks a little bit, it, and if you bake it properly for long enough, it'll be really, really strong. I mean, some of the tests, you can go on there on YouTube and look on up, up the tests that they do with uh, PETG and PLA and ABS. They, um, and then the carbon fiber, which I have, the nylon fill, the nylon fill carbon fiber. Uh, they have uh, and then polycarbonate, which I'm ordering. It's on its way right now. Polycarbonate, and that'll be here within the next week or so. Which is the, basically the strongest desktop type uh, thermo thermoplastic you can buy for a 3D printer. It's expensive, very expensive. It's ridiculously expensive, but it's strong. Uh, as far as for far as they have told me, it's strong. Uh, I've seen the, them print out little clips like this. They print out these clips and do the weight tests. Now this is this is strong. It's probably strong because of that. But this is just regular PLA. I could probably break that, but I'm not trying to because this is a cool toy I gave my kid. But uh, I've. I've already crushed a few of them. Uh, they leave them around. I, I made little cars for him and stuff. And it's like Legos that it just tries to. Uh, it hurts. You step on it. So you can. There is a little bit of layered. You can feel the layer. It's not a crush, crush fruit, but you can feel the layers coming apart when you're when you're crushing it. And uh, looks like a little bit of a problem on the layers there either it's not too hot it's too hot or too cold I think it's too cold uh, I have two different printers so getting the temperature correct on each one is very difficult no no it's just difficult here and you can see that inside it there's tons of it. Tons of just fi uh, little, little, little fibers. <laughs> when it was going in, when it prints back and forth, there's a little bit of fibers that, that stick around. So, I hope you looked at this. Should stay tuned for more cool shit on my page. Thank you for seeing it. Please subscribe, for whatever channel this is uploaded to, and have a good day. Donnie Magnum signing off.